some of the worshippers would work alone. Others would temporarily join forces. Some would prefer to seek shelter and wait. Others kept seeking and hunting. Decades and centuries passed. And through murder, treason, and death, the ritual weapon would pass from hand to hand. With each new worshipper slain, Asmodai was closer and closer to achieving his goal. For the fading life force of each victim would be transferred, making the Slayer grow in power and preparing the host for the true master to be reborn. The time has finally come. When of the twelve dark spirits of old, only one remains. His name was Raven. Is there anything you'd like to ask? All in the name of a demon. Whitmarsh has killed so many people. The more victims Whitmarsh sacrifices, the more powerful he becomes, together with his master. According to what you deduced from the evidence, the heart in the demon's imposter is the key that activates his terrible machine of death. As it collects the lives of its victims, it is bound to Whitmarsh himself. The Raven. Whitmarsh's true name is a Reaper. The last one. Does this mean that... Soon he will become as Modai himself. If the demon returns, there will be no way to stop him this time. The power of the Reapers is no match for that of their master. We have to act quickly. There is only one more relief piece to be found. You know what to do. lied to you, Detective. There are still two Reapers remaining. The final duel is now about to begin. If I were you, I would pray that it is the priest who is victorious, not the Raven. It is the second time you save me, and thus you're not on my list. This time, 